Hey guys, Cold Brew here. Welcome back to another AFK Journey video. I know you guys enjoyed AFK Journey last time. So here we are back again with Lilith Games and AFK Journey sponsoring the channel. Thank you so much for the support. And you guys, if you are enjoying this game, there's going to be a download link in the description and comments of the video for you guys to check it out. If you're Android, if you're iOS, if you play on PC, it's available for you. And there's cross-platform connection as well. So you can enjoy it at any way that you want okay so let's get started with the game the game is now officially available on march 27th on multiple different countries and regions for you guys to enjoy it so we'll go in there we'll have a look at, at the game i'll show you what i've found and what i've enjoyed so far and of course the game will bring a lot of things for you guys to also enjoy because they're giving away lots of summons th through the duration of um of you playing in and you will also be available to get every single one of the heroes in the game for free by just logging in and i can show you that right now there will be different login events and different amounts of summons given to you as you're playing through and through the login events and different events that the game pushes you'll be able to eventually unlock every single hero in the game even epic heroes which is the highest quality i believe and through that You'll be able to enjoy the different strategies and, and, and try to think, okay, which hero do I enjoy the most together with someone else and see how uh, that fits for your playstyle. So this is the game. It looks beautiful. Honestly, the map looks beautiful. You can explore it. The map changes. Sometimes it rains. There's daylight. There's different enemies that you can explore. You can click throughout the map and you can pick up a lot of things as you go through. This is a... Um, successor to the AFK Arena. If you guys have played it, too, you will see some similarities with AFK Arena. It's a more casual style of gameplay game. And um, you can have AFK Progression, which is this one that you see right here. This is a progressive difficulty system of fighting enemies where it will give you some rewards as time passes. Even if you're offline, you'll see this chest just filling up with rewards and you'll be able to just click on it click collect and, and get them depending on your level you'll get more and more rewards but if you want to go and up and up in difficulty to get more and more rewards this gets a little bit difficult so let's go in there i'll show you how battle works because that's that's the real point here see, see um i have on the front line here my tank who is uh, this lady right here let me see if i can uh, show you guys granny danny <laughs> And she's a, a wilder uh, tank physical damage with a one range. So she will be focused right here. I also have this guy who is available for free to everyone at the very, very start when you just start playing. Uh, it's called Valen and he can actually go into the back line and do some solid damage. And then I have my, uh, my one support who's a healer and my other support who provides um, help to get everyone's ultimate going. And my big DPS which is CCI right there which can also summon a damage dealer. So let's go into battle. We're fighting level 56 enemies, so it's a little bit higher than us. You can fight this on auto. You can fight this on manual if you want to. So if you are fighting on manual, then you need to target your ultimates and give your, let's say now, give your support at the right time to everybody. Let's see. Boom, we get our ultimates through. Granny Danny can do her ultimate right now. Boom, look at that. We immobilize that enemy. Let's drop a big heal now to everyone and then with Cecia yeah, we can summon on the back line that little boy right there and then uh, we'll put it on auto since we'll be able to take them down but look at this this is how the battle goes it's pretty cool and uh, I do enjoy the graphics I, n I never played AFK Arena for a prolonged time but I do enjoy it how the, all the graphics look and, and the feel of everything as you go through the map so this is the AFK system, it goes like that as you go and climb up the stages. It's the same thing over and over again. And there is an auto mechanic as well for you to climb up to 10 up to ten stages as you go through. So you don't need to go and click if it's too easy for you. If you progress through a lot, you can just go 10, um, 10 stages. You can leave it on and you can go 10 stages. Um, what else you can do? You can also explore the map and there's different quest lines that I'm currently on. But the enemies are a little bit easy to me at the moment because, well, I did go ahead and level up everything with the resources we had given available. But look at this. As I'm exploring the map, I collect stuff. I can talk with different NPCs, non-playable characters that I find throughout the map and collect also some rewards when I can. So let's even fight this guy. Oh, actually, we did a, a quick fight on him. Click on these rewards, we pick them up. 
and then uh, we move through. You can also click M, which is the map bu button. It opens everything up. You can click right there, the walk button. And my character is actually going to try and walk all the way over there. There are some customization op options that you can do on your character as well. If you're, if you're into that sort of thing and making your character look how you want, there's different titles and equipments that you can give him to make him look different than others. So that's something that you enjoy. It's a cosmetic thing. You can change the appearance of your character, change the face, you can change how his skin and eyes look. I uh, can even change gender, his physique, his face. So it's pretty cool if you're interested in developing your character to a more unique way that suits, well, your liking, right? So um, this is this is this part. There's also, of course, the summons. You can go to the magical, mystical house. And if we click on right here, the um, noble tavern, you'll see how the summons look. These are pretty interesting. Vala is actually a pretty good one from what I've read. And I do have it already, but I, I'll just want to show you on how summons look. So this is how the summoning screen looks. This girl goes in there. She throws the letters up in the air. And you see glows all over the map. There we go. And if you see a big yellow glow, that's when you get an epic, which is the, the higher quality of hero. Uh, we've got this guy right there, Salazar. I have him already. So this is the resource that I get. And if we click on tap to continue, we get some of these stuff, which the mini acorns are not heroes. But it's things that help us make our heroes stronger. So out of all of this, I basically got two copies of heroes that I have already. Okay. And that is how summons go. Because eventually you will have every single hero available in the game. And you'll be able to develop them further and further. You can make these ones into epics eventually by ascending them. So this one's an elite that can eventually make into epic. And... Further and further and further. So, for example, these epics that I had, like Cecia, from before, I can develop her eventually and make her to a legendary plus, and so forth and so forth, uh, as you get copies of them. But it's very quick in, ter in terms of leveling your heroes up. You just click on this as you collect materials, right? And your first five heroes make this thing called Resonance, right? And Resonance is basically the level for every one of your heroes so if let's say you collect everything in the game every one of them will be the lowest level of resonance so 51 everyone will be 51 their equipment is also set as a general equipment and it's very easy so your supports have that amount of equipment your rogues marksmen mages your tanks your warriors have different equipment but it's general for every single one of them and it's very quick to upgrade it you quick equip after your successful fight, you can also craft, well, forge some gear as it's called right here. You forge it, that easy, and you slowly work your way up and make everyone stronger. And you go and do the different battle modes that are available. There are guilds available, and the battle modes are quite interesting. There's Dream Realm, Honor Jewel, which is PvP, Arena, and uh, Battle Drills, which is something more interesting, but you need to be in a guild to experience this. And of course, more endgame stuff as you get to AFK stage 100, which I'm not there at AFK stage 166. So what is pretty cool about the game is the quick teleport kind of system that they have. As you explore, it's a, it's a side-scrolling game where you can explore. You can say, okay, I want to go and do this quest line. So I click there. It's going to transfer me to the nearest point that I have unlocked already. And my character is just going to run all the way there. Okay, and I can go ahead and do my fights if I wanted to there's different puzzles like this one right here I'm gonna pause and show you this is like one of the puzzles that you can see activate all all pressure plates here and this will eventually give you some rewards so I find some treasures there's more pr pressure plates I can click on there's one right there I'm not sure on how to go to that one um, so I would probably need to go all the way around to get to that one but these are the kind of cool stuff that are hidden throughout the map for you to explore this, this barrel right here. I click on it, boom, it explodes, and I can go and uh, experience the map over there. But I just want to show you on how it looks, basically. I just I enjoy it a lot. It, it's pretty cool. What is this? I'm not even sure. You go down this way, it opens up. It's a dungeon. And we just go through and kill the enemies as we go. Because we passed them on so many levels, we are able to do like a quick fight, which... Uh, that is actually pretty cool. It just saves up on time if you have been developing your account to an extreme point comparing it to the well the quest line that you you might be facing. So this is like another part of like a, a puzzle. I go through and push this ball there and that allows me to go through the map. 
Pretty cool. Get, get some treasures. There's an enemy here. Let's fight this one. Quick fights. Easy rewards like that. I, I love seeing all these um, quick rewards. And the quest line, it's uh, it's for you to explore. If you enjoy this, it's not just an AFK game. It's, it's more. It's even more than that, which is very enjoyable, especially the graphics. I find this whole world that they've made for, um, for everyone to explore. So nice, so pretty. So this is another battle I, I wanted to show you guys as I, was, I, as I was exploring the map. Uh, this popped up to me. There's different ways to set up your, your fight, so you don't necessarily have to do what I showed you earlier. You can use different setups and scenarios if you want to. All right, so all melee heroes up at the front, and depending on your faction that you use, you get different bonuses and there's different strategies to increase your damage or you'll lose damage if you have a weak affinity, weak faction against the other factions, right? So you'll have to have that in mind before you go into the battle. If you get the bonuses, then that's good. You get different bonuses for the amount of the same faction that you have. So have that in mind as well. So different factions of your state together make things easier, all right? So I forgot to show you guys, but every single hero has a unique animation. So if you go into battle, I'll try to, to sh show you all the different animations that they have. So let's go in there and fight them. And we'll see level 51 against us, so we should be okay. But I want to show you the animations. Oh, that guy died because I didn't put him in the front. Yeah, that's a mistake. There's the, uh, the ultimate animation when filling up my energy. There's my tank with hers. We mobilize the enemies going for our supports. And then there's CCA who's going to summon the big boy. I forgot his name. He's actually, he actually has a name. And then there's Vala, who goes in for the back line for the big crits. You can, of course, disable these animations. I had them disabled, but I watched them so many times. You have them to appear once every now and then. So if that's something that you want, you can, of course, do it. So this is the world of AFK Journey, guys. Thank you again, uh, Lilith Games and AFK Journey, for supporting the channel. Guys, please go and download the game and enjoy it. This is the video. Thank you all for watching. There will be a download link in the description and comments of the video. Thanks again. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.